Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I like to um, use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. In this video, I'm going to be planning out the month of July, 2023. Before we get started, I am a Passion Planner Ambassador. There's an affiliate link in the description of this video and a discount code. Those links and codes change, so be sure to check the latest video or the about section of this channel if you'd like to use them. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> so I'm planning out the month of July. And as you can see, I've already notated a few things that are happening. But honestly, July is fairly sparse in terms of like things I have scheduled, except like social things. But I'm happy with that because I need a month of relative break before we get into the craziness of fall. So today I am so excited to share with you that I am using stickers out of a new sticker book. This is a new sticker book to me, although not new to the company. Um, it's the Ready, Set, Grow sticker pack. And I don't know why, but I guess I thought this had more like nature type stickers in it. But really, these are the most functional stickers um, that Passion Planner has. Now, they do have a, an actual functional planning sticker book, but those are a lot of them are trackers, which is fine. But I don't need a ton of trackers. So when I found that this book actually had these like functional stickers in them, with some like kind of decorative inspirational like quotes and stuff I was like oh my god see they have all these icons and basically they're the same like five sheets in different colorways um, and so today I'm going to use this one because it's so summery love it and I'm going to pair it with stickers from the summer vibes sticker book which I've talked about a lot lately um, I'm gonna choose this sheet here now it's not an exact color match but it's pretty close and I couldn't resist this little black cat rainbow sticker I just couldn't resist it so I'm gonna use it it's my birthday month I can do what I want um, and so I'm just like super excited <clears throat> let me just do a quick little flip through of this book in case you've never seen it but like here's the the back colorway and again these are all like the same sheets repeated they're just in different colors and then this blues and then this kind of like pastel-y color scheme and then this like saturated color one which is what I'm using and then this more muted one in the front so super cute I am in love okay and I'm also going to bring in some washi to match the yellow in these sticker sheets um, I also have a few things that I'm afraid of forgetting so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them on here I was looking at my digital calendar. Um, and I, you know, to make sure that I had it, everything, there's a few things that had popped up since the last time I took a look at this planner. So I want to make sure that I don't forget them when I'm setting up my situation here. And then let me think I feel like there's one more thing well there's my birthday and there's the 4th of July we're gonna do fireworks with my parents and then I'm not sure yet if it's this weekend or this weekend. But one of these weekends we're having a barbecue with our friends. Um, so I just want to make a note. Like I might just keep the sticky note and then wait till I get confirmation on the actual, you know, time. Okay, so I think we have what we need. All right, let me get out my surplus. So what I have not done yet is my my roadmap for the next six months. So normally I do this in a different order. I do the roadmap because it helps me decide like what I want to tackle in the next six months, including July. But um, 
A, I already know what I'm going to be tackling because I did a lot of like pre-planning for the summer. And B, um, I just want to have like a really clear headspace when I do that roadmap. And I needed to get through my summer classes, you know, before I tackled it. I just didn't want to have like, I didn't want to be like super distracted in my head, kind of like in a million different places. And so those, uh, my summer classes have ended. I just turned in my grades yesterday. Feels amazing. Um, so I am, I am off teaching in July. And then we, of course, oh dang, I'm out of, can't use this water. Out of that, I gotta use a different one. Okay, so this changes my plan a little bit. Um, cause I don't think any of these other yellows are the key. So we'll use maybe a, let's see what I got. <clears throat> Let me see here. None of these really, this red orange is pretty though, but mm, I think we might have to stick with like a pink. which is fine. I just feel like I'm very pink heavy on this channel. Definitely this pink. Okay. It is what it is. I can't believe I actually went through a, oh, a washi roll for a change normally. And I'm surprised it's not the pink one because <laughs> I use this color a lot. Watch, it'll be this. It'll be the same thing in a minute. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> so... So yeah, I get July off of teaching, although I do need to do fall prep. Um, really, it's not, I don't think, a ton of work. I am teaching a new class to me this fall, though. Not like entirely new. I've taught, you know, first year composition. I taught it for like 10 years, you know, before I took a break. But this is a new template that I must teach per the admin people who insist on having way too much oversight. Um, so I need to like set the class up in Blackboard from scratch and um, you know, like just get my ducks in a row for that. Get my like assignments written out and everything. So yeah, <clears throat> um, I need to do that and then there's like basic 302 setup that I have to do for like the class that I always teach every semester. Um, I have to obviously like populate it with dates and so on and so forth. So gotta do that. But yeah, I more or less know how I'm going to be spending my July, like on what projects, because I had, if you've seen my summer goals video and then my um, summer Gantt chart, you know that I've thought this through a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to come in here with the functional stickers first, I may end up adding more washi. I might even like wipe this July out and rewrite it using different colors or something. We'll see. Um, I wrote all the months in before I realized what colors I would use, like a dummy, and <laughs> um, now I'm regretting that decision. And also like, why did I write them in a variety of colors? I don't know. It would have been better to just have them in a neutral color that I could write on top of or whatever. Anyway, so, yes. So I love that they have these functional flags. I'm just like loving it because I've been wanting more functional stickers from Passion Planner. And um, I had, of course, like some icons and stuff, but, and like, of course, some of their sticker books absolutely have little like box type stickers <clears throat> um, but not like a whole book like this does it's like a tiny little sticker but oh well. okay. fourth of July Do you guys do anything for the 4th? I will admit, like, my enthusiasm for the 4th of July, like, to do something has waned over the years. 
um, because it's hot and fireworks are a lot. Like my mom really wants us to come to their club and do the fireworks. Um, but I've, you know, never done that with a baby in the picture. Um, and I don't know, like, how do you, how do you do that? Like those of you who have kids, do you like keep them up, let them fall asleep? Like it's going to be so late when the fireworks go off. And I just, like, don't know what that will look like. <laughs> oh, also, I just remembered, because we changed writing group um, for the summer months. <clears throat> so, I have, I actually have two things in this morning. I have the write-in and we have writing coven at 1030 and then this is the write-in. I forgot to add those in when I was adding my little stickers. <clears throat> um, that's the write-in is where like me and some colleagues get together and we Right, as it implies. Um, and then the ninth is my husband's uncle's celebration of life. I feel like they told me the time and now I can't remember. Um, it's in Arab culture. There's like, after the funeral, there's so many days that go by and then they have a celebration of life and it's, um, there's like food and I'm like assuming, I'm not actually don't know when my friend is arriving. Like she, she's definitely going to be, we have a spa appointment on this day. So, um, <clears throat> and um, so the whole family gets together for the celebration of life and I just want to make sure I like remember that. So Carly is coming and then, um, my daughter's nine month checkup, which is just like crazy to me. How is she nine months already? I don't know. <laughs> it seems impossible. So. is um 345 cma i also have a nine month sticker i can pop on there too and then this is the week that my um that my daughter starts daycare three days a week which i'm like it's a mixed looking forward to situation I'm looking forward to it, but also I think I'm anxious about it and I'm going to miss my daughter being with me for most of the week days. So it's a combination for sure. I didn't really, I don't think I really understood what parents, especially mothers, talk about when they say that they both simultaneously want a break from their kids and then miss their kids the whole time they're having the break. But now I get it. I get it. 100%. Um, and really, like, I'm sure it, it changes a little, like, as your kids age and stuff, but, um, oh, man, I feel it now. I feel that conflict now, for sure. And then we have a barbecue we're scheduling. I just don't know when, so I'm going to leave that sticky note there and move it around when I get the chance. 
Okay, already super cute. And I do think I need to add more washi to balance out this pink situation. I really wish I had more of that orange. I could probably like use, of course it's like lost its stickiness now. I'll use this orange. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, I hate that expression, but I don't have other options is the point. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll just balance out some of this pink with a little kind of orangey yellow. And then I'm gonna come in with some blue washi as well. I didn't really wanna try to match blues, but it's like weirdly similar color. I could think this blue. I'm gonna have so much washi to put back on. I think this blue and then this green. <clears throat> so I am going to white out my preemptively written July. And then I will come in with the dark washi. I haven't used this roll yet, so it's like, no, I don't want to pull up. Okay, I'm going to cut the end off that. So I will come in here, put a little washi. It's kind of crooked, but oh well. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go right in the crevasse, right in there. Okay. I'm loving this so far. Ooh, look how beautiful that like dark blue is. It's very pretty. Okay. And now a little bit of the turquoise. So yeah, I did one of my write-ins this morning. Got a good amount of work done. You know what, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I want to cover up the, let's see if I have days of the week. I feel like I do, but they're small. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I can cover them up. Good. That answers that question. Oh, come here, washi. It's going to be so not sticky after a while. Okay, <clears throat> so I had one of my write-ins and my daughter was there for it. <laughs> Um, and actually, though, it went pretty well. I got a lot of good stuff done. It was hard not to, like, want to keep going. Because um, I, like, I feel like if I, obviously, if I hadn't had her near me, I could have, like, got even more done. But the point of these write-ins is for us to get more done than we would have otherwise in the summer. Because we're helping each other, like, stay accountable, you know? And... Um, it does actually help like I'm not sure if I would have stuck with it as long as we did if it wasn't for um, having the, you know having the group um, and so my daughter was very patient she did a really good job you know with everything um, this is obviously designed for a Monday start planner because they have the blue and the blue So, <laughs> um, by the way, I did obtain my planner for the next calendar year. I'm excited that I get to unveil it to you when the time comes. I am probably going to wish I waited because I'm sure P Passion Planner will come out with a new line of covers um, for the fall, like in preparation for the new uh, new calendar year. But I also, like, I'm definitely a creature of habit, and I tend to buy similar, like, type of planners over and over. 
I don't know if I would even go for whatever their new thing is. If, you know, we'll see. It, I could still very well love it enough to switch gears and then maybe I'll just give my my planner away um, if that's what I decide. So we'll see. We'll see. That's a future, future Tanya situation. Okay, so I've got all my dates on there. This is looking good. Um, I think I will keep the side boxes the way that they are and just like add some pizzazz. Maybe like come in with some complimentary mild liners and like just add a little like shadow box to each box. Um, but I'm liking the way this looks so far. So now for the fun part, some stickos. Definitely going to bring in my little rainbow kitty. Now the reason I hesitated using this sheet is because obviously this bright green is not like well represented by the date, the functional stickers, but I'm hoping that once they're all on here, the stickers, that it will be less obvious that that is the case. Um, that it'll kind of like all go together is my hope. <laughs> so you tell me if my hope is realized in the comments. <clears throat> These are so cute. I love this little sun. Super cute, right? Sun for Sunday. I like this little, like, relax with an umbrella. And I definitely want this guitar, even though I just talked about there being too much green. I think having a little... A little guitar, guitar is super cute. Okay, I definitely want this lady with the tall hair situation and the, you know, strategically placed pineapples. And, oh yeah, I want this curvy lady on her little flotation device. I think I'll put her Maybe here, and then like something next to her. I've got some like decorative. Like a little leaf situation. And some like flowers. And then um, definitely this palm tree. So pretty much all the stickers is where we're going with this. I always hesitate to put stickers on the month days because like what if something comes up and I need to write it down? But I know people who do it and it looks so nice. So I think I'm just gonna make myself figure it out. Ooh, I like this tropical drink. I just like all these. Who am I kidding? I'm going to use them all, probably. Places to go, people to see. And I like these little legs. I think these are like the perfect sticker to kind of go maybe somewhere. In the month. Summer! And um, there's this little, like, it looks like sushi or masubi, I'm not sure. Character, I like this little papaya. I'm gonna go in the corner here. And this guy just looks so happy. I think it's sushi, I'm not sure, but. There's a lot of yellow in the sun, so I don't wanna place this too close to that. Maybe in the corner here. I wish I could hear you guys. You're probably telling me the right place to put it right now in your mind. And you're, you're like, oh, there, on that day. You know what? I'm just going to do a sticker grouping right here. Oh, there 
is not a sticker, that is this part of the background. <laughs> there we go. I like that. A little group of stickers. You know what? We should do this more often. I think it looks cute. Aloha Friday. I already put like a lot of stickers on Friday. Also, I don't know when my barbecue is happening, so. And then I got these pineapples, and of course I have to have them because they're gorgeous and they're pineapples, and I love pineapples. And there's pineapples right there. So maybe here. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Ooh, and it's good times. Okay, I used the whole sticker sheet. <laughs> this month's focus is good times. We're just going to pop that in there. And now I got to have all my little decorations. I'm going to overdo it, but you know what? It's my birthday month, so I'm giving myself permission to overdo if I want to, and I want to. Let this be a reminder if you need permission to overdo it, go for it. You only got one life, and if you love stickers as much as I do, you just got to use them up because they, they don't stay sticky forever. Let's see, I think we need more color here. And we'll put a little bit down here. And two more and I'm done. Ah, so cute. And check it, empty sticker sheet. That's not a sticker, it's just part of the background. Ah, so satisfying. And does it look a little busy? Perhaps, but I don't care. I love it, and that is all that matters. I'm going to put this this way because I don't know which of these days the barbecue is happening on. Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. So cute. And I just remembered I was going to put July up here. Let's see if I have, I don't think they have months. They just have days. But I might have month stickers somewhere. So I'm going to hold off and put that on later when I have a chance to go see if I actually have month stickers somewhere in my stash. Okay, so people to see. We are definitely seeing um, Carly is coming to visit, which I'm really happy about. I'm seeing some friends for my birthday. And some friends for our barbecue. Um, the Simon family. And I think that's it for people, mom. Oh, and Adele, my sister. Love it. Places to go. We're not really going anywhere like special in the month of July. I'm just gonna put some like generic things I wanna do not to do list over work just don't do it because it's my only month off so that's the goal we'll see if i can avoid it okay i covered up like the place where i put the name of the project here but that's okay i'm gonna try to keep it like minimal so there is teaching stuff and that is basically prep for fall done and then academic writing only one thing I really 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 need to do and that is the MC manuscript oh and I'm doing the edited collection internal review 
I'm facilitating it. And then um, Project Baby, this is Baby Freya. Um, I really want to get up to date with her baby book. Let me think, she's eight months. So I will order seven and eight month pictures. Compile videos. What else? Anything else? I have her. I need her back. Her um. Her COVID number three vaccine. So that's that. And then, um, what was my other? Oh, I guess I had like a home. Yeah, like home. Hmm. Yeah, that looks weird. It's all squished. Also, that looks weird. Squished. I'm going to actually take my little sticker book here and put little headers. I'm going to bring some more green and blue down here. And I'm going to cover up these because it will look nicer. I'm going to write over them so I don't care if I can see through them because I would be writing the same thing anyway. I just wanted to make it look nice. Okay. So yeah. Plan this this um, month is to not overwork and try to carve out as much time as possible for like summer fun fun things. So for home, we still need to make a will. I know I keep repeating that, but I'm gonna put it on here until we do it. Um, I'd really like to make it to a farmers market. We did not get to go to any so far this year, and I just think that would be fun. And um, I'm going to put baptism on here because my husband's handling it, and I just, like right now, I don't know where we're at with that, but I just put it on there to just remind myself that it's coming up, potentially. We'll see. <laughs> it's been an interesting process, let's just say that. Okay, and then here I might um, do a task list, but I've been kind of falling off with that lately. I might do something else. What did I do last time? Oh, I put summer books and summer movies. I have not made progress on those, but maybe I'll repeat them here. Since this is going to be the month of fun, we're going to try to inject as much fun into it as possible. I feel like I need to put a sticker here. Maybe. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I am definitely over my 30 minute allotment. I had a blast putting this together. Hopefully you had fun watching me do it. Um, if you're interested in picking up the Ready, Set, Grow sticker book or the Summer Vibe sticker book, I really appreciate it if you use my code or my, or my link and or my link. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you back here soon. Bye.